from a two-headed baby to the world's tallest toddler, here are 10 children you won't believe actually exist. In 2011, a Brazilian baby was born with two heads. It was a complete shock to the mother who was expecting twins. The baby has just one heart, but has two brains. As he was born perfectly healthy, the doctors decided not to remove the extra head. They are essentially two different children who share the same body, so any head removal would have been murder. During an interview, the mother admitted to not getting an ultra scan before the birth, so she just might have had the biggest surprise ever. Verdant is a young lad from India. At the age of four, his right leg has grown considerably larger than it should. Even though hundreds of doctors have examined the boy, none of them have been able to diagnose him, so he seems to have a completely unique genetic condition. His overgrown limb weighs 12 pounds, which makes doctors want to amputate it, for fear it will keep growing. They fear it will grow so big that it will burst like a balloon. But for now, he is perfectly healthy. And if any of you were wondering, no, he is not related to Kalim. Jackson Buell was born without most of his skull and without most of his brain. He wasn't expected to last long. Doctors advised the parents to abort him, but after a healthy birth he was dubbed the Miracle Baby. The doctors also warned that he would never walk and never talk. He is currently learning his first words. So maybe those doctors should quit their jobs, because their predictions seem to be less accurate than those of a small town fortune teller. Two-year-old Tessa Evans was born without a nose. It is the result of a condition called arinia, which leaves her without a sense of smell. But she is in luck. Cosmetic surgery may be able to reverse the problem. Doctors have fitted an implant into her face that will cause a nose to grow. It will take years for her to grow a new nose. Just how many years is unknown, as she is the first person to ever undergo the surgery. Now from no nose to clown nose. Connie Lloyd was born healthy and normal, but after a few months her nose turned bright red. Her parents were understandably confused by the change in color. Doctors identified it as a tumor growing on her face. Doctors warned that there is no cure and that she could bleed to death if her nose gets scratched. But her mother was able to find a surgeon who knew differently. The tumor was removed and only a small scar left behind. Like so many others in this list, Amelia Taylor was dubbed a miracle baby. She was born early. In fact, she was born two weeks before the legal limit for an abortion. You may think these images are photoshopped, but they really aren't. Doctors refused to refer to the baby using her name as they didn't expect her to survive. But she did survive, even though her hand was the size of a fingernail and her leg the length of a finger. This is James Watley. He is a toddler, yet he is four foot tall, twice the size of other children his age. He has a rare genetic disorder that basically makes him huge. I just can't believe a toddler can be four foot tall. Giuliano Stro is an 11 year old super child. Known as the strongest kid in the world, he can pull off human flags like a monkey ninja. He once held a human flag for one and a half minutes and then did 31 human flag pull-ups. He shot to fame after posting his own workout videos on YouTube. He now has over 100,000 subscribers. Two years ago, the Romanian government took him away from his parents. They said that a nine-year-old child should not be allowed to work out for so long. But he was soon returned home, so I guess we can say the Romanian government is full of it. Nick.
newspaper headlines sometimes refer to Charlotte Garside as the smallest girl in the world, which sounds about right. She is just 68 centimeters tall. When she was born, she weighed only two pounds, and her mother said she looked like a skinned rabbit, but she now seems to be developing as well as any other child. She just happens to be smaller than usual. In fact, she is even smaller than her teddy bear. Santiago Mendoza is just a baby, yet he weighs almost 20 kilograms. He gained his weight due to his mother feeding him whenever he cried. What makes it worse is that he cried more than most babies as he had anxiety problems. It wasn't long before he was officially named Colombia's fattest baby, a title that is competed for by no one ever. <laughs> 